Hi, Emilio Barty here. As you can see, we've moved to video, so um, really happy to be using this medium. Um, great lover of it. Obviously, very rich in being able to uh, facilitate communication and add another layer to the text and the images. Obviously, so I'm um, going to stick with it. And obviously, these these kind of daily vlogs, these uh, gorilla type videos, are going to be used for um, thoughts that come to mind as they come up. And things that are maybe more more generally on the kind of uh, the agenda, but um, it's funny as you as you kind of move into this uh, sphere, you think, oh, you're looking at YouTube and you and you're giving ideas for what you want to do, and you're immediately hit with the need to uh, work out a lot of these uh, editing programs. Obviously, I'm doing I'm doing uh, this side of the iPhone, and it's um, you know it's, it's suitable. It's, it's, it kind of does its job in one sense. Um, but you kind of have ideas about how to do some videography and add a few effects and bang, you're smacking the face with these, uh, the, these programs. And they are there, they're out there, they're not hideously expensive, but they've got one heck of a learning curve to them. So you can, um, I mean, really, you do need to dedicate some quite serious time to, say, master them to a level that I think would be satisfactory to um, enable you to publish video you'd be happy with. Again, not speculating on people's personal standards, but... They, they, they go and you do see some YouTubers, they essentially just, uh, they seem to be using it in the most basic way, just chopping and editing things they don't like, and you can see it, but it doesn't seem to necessarily harm their prospects and they're, they're kind of like the quality of the content um, that they put out, so uh, it's worth, worth thinking about. But having said that, with the need for video, as I, as I see it coming up and going forward, more and more people are going to need to work out how to enhance their online their online presence and this is one heck of a way to do it but um, you're always going to be confronted with these this issue because of the uh, oh, you may want to brand something personalize it put your own kind of uh, twist on things and there you go you smack you, you smack back into the situation where where you're going to need how to work out how to do these things so uh, in line with our general agenda here I'm going to suggest that there's a space there for people who can who can provide tutorials on um, how to use these existing platforms, you don't have to you don't have to create anything um, by way of the actual software and tools that are there for video um, editing and production. It's about giving people slow, easy to use, accessible ways of understanding what these tools can do. So yeah, walkthroughs, walkthroughs, literally handheld walkthroughs, idiot proof. Um, s delivered slowly, um, standard standard language, icon by icon. This is what this one can do. This is what the next one can do. And this is what you can do with music. And this is how you build to add two or three things together to make an effect. That type of thing. So I think I think that's a big space. I think, as I say, more and more people are going to be needing to do this stuff. And when you come up against, when you find. <coughs> the online tutorials, for example. You've got some kid who's, who knows your stuff backwards. He'll be speaking in that hyper kind of techie voice, really quick. Cursor all over the screen. And um, you get to the end of the five or ten minutes, and what you realise is it's basically clickbait. They've worked out how to get a lot of people to their video to monetize it off YouTube. And the last thing on their mind, really, is to teach you how to use this stuff. So... Uh, you find yourself sat there and you're further back than you were when you were looking for the solution in the first place. And um, so that, 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 that to me, that's called a pain point. And in uh, entrepreneurial enterprise, um, uh, the world of enterprise, though, though, that's where an opportunity exists. That's where a space exists for somebody to uh, come in and provide a solution that um, assists with that, eases that problem. And I suggest that the marketplace for that, that issue is really quite sizable and growing. So uh, that's something there. Now, if, if you are somebody who thinks you can want to always even doing something of that nature or get around this stuff, and it may be, uh, I say, video, video is one, there's loads of things, cameras and video cameras and the like. But fundamentally, if, you, if you're providing or know how to provide or want to provide educational content, the type I described a little way back, then um, we would use this platform to, to assist you in the promotion of it. Um, again, that's our agenda for kind of dynamically assisting enterprise, enabling it, and partaking in it ourselves. So um, that's what I would suggest. And uh, if you really have a an idea as to what and how you would do that, 
do not hesitate to get in touch and um, you can <clears throat> comment down below and let us know that that's what you're thinking or you'd like to or um, and or um, send an email to info at e2foundation.co.uk um, and uh, title it uh, Enterprise Engine Promo and we'll, we'll look at that and uh, get back to you and obviously mention mention in the email mention in the body of the email what what, what it is uh, in relation to because we could quite easily kind of uh, the speed we're putting these out <clears throat> um, not not know exactly what it is you are talking to so, uh, we, you're referring to so uh, yeah all right so uh, that's me Emil Amir Barter from the Enterprise Engine and I'll see you very shortly.